Hello and welcome in another episode Dowsing Aliens and UFOs. In this video we are going to douse very interesting video I just found uh, which was uploaded by JP. He's a military person from uh, America. He has posted a couple videos of UFOs he has taken and he's frequent guest uh, with Dr. Sala mm, YouTube channel. So let's see what kind of information we can douse from uh, the videos he provided us. I'm going to post the link to his video in the video description and I'm going to work on the screenshot from this video and large so you can see better what I'm doing. And we are of course going to use my mm, dowsing chart for non-human um, entities. If you are interested in using this chart as well, you can get it from my website, link in the video description below. So let's uh, check this uh, video and um, the UFO uh, he has uh, recorded, uh, I think on his mobile phone. So um, I'm not going to play uh, with you everything uh, from this video, but um, I'm going to um, take a snapshot and enlarge it so we can uh, work on this uh, um, picture here. So as always, we start with, um, do we have permission to um, do the dowsing of this object? Do I have permission to douse these objects? Yes, okay. Is this object real or CGI? Is it real? Yes. I think it's um, quite important now to start with this kind of question uh, these days, especially when you don't have a video, but when you have uh, just a picture, because picture can be manipulated. And now with the AI available, um, we have all sorts of um, pictures coming out. And quite a lot of them may be not real. Okay, so this is real picture. So let's douse. Um, are there any entities on board of this vehicle? Yes. How many entities are on board of this vehicle? Four. What is the type of entities on board of this vehicle? It shows me Nordics. Where this vehicle originates from? Our galaxy. On a scale of uh, 0 to 100, when 100 is a benevolent type of beings and uh, 0 it means malevolent with bad intention towards humanity, what are these entities uh, on that scale? So they are 70% positive, yeah? So it's, it's good. They are kind of uh, good aliens, good uh, visitors. They don't wish us harm. Okay, and uh, he mentioned that uh, this object here, it's uh, actually an energetic drone they sent out for reconnaissance purposes. So let's just douse this, this Thing, this object. Do I have permission to douse this object? Yes. Are there any, any entities on board of this object? No. Is this a drone type of object? Yes. Okay. So as you see, um, we douse a uh, couple questions. And we've got some answers. Um, they actually confirm what he said uh, in the video that this was video of the Nordic um, type of beings. Uh, perhaps because um, he um, has telepathic contact with them. And um, I understand this particular uh, dowsing uh, was maybe influenced by me already knowing what sort of um, entities are on board of this ship and uh, so it's not a 100% um, how can I say 
accurate because I might be already influenced while I was dousing um, this information. But I thought it's a good idea to douse uh, some information you already know because you might have been manipulated. So, for instance, imagine the scenario when the media show you an object on the sky and they say this belongs to X uh, race of aliens and they are negative for us and we should be scared a lot about it. And then when you douse this by yourself using your dousing skills, you check and uh, that's not really the case because it may look like um, they may be actually uh, positive uh, entities who are shown as negative. Our media uh, quite often are manipulating our perception and uh, if the narrative is to be um, negative towards this kind of beings, they will show them in a negative way. So I think it's advisable uh, to douse something even if you already know, you've been told by somebody that this is this kind of beings or that kind of beings. And of course, uh, it might happen that during the dowsing, the results will be totally different. So instead of um, Nordics, I would have uh, Grace, for instance, and I would have the energy of um, uh, this uh, race maybe not so benevolent. So it may show me that uh, this person may not really know what he's talking about, or he just intentionally manipulates uh, my perception for a specific purpose. But in this case, JP was right, because according to my dowsing, and um, I would like you to douse this um, uh, objects as well. That's why I put the link in the video description below. You can test by yourself, douse and see if uh, the beings are uh, really Nordics and um, are benevolent uh, for us. So here you are. I hope you enjoy this uh, dowsing uh, of these uh, objects. And um, if you are new here, please consider subscribing because we are going to douse more alien crafts to check what sort of information we can receive uh, from dowsing them. And remember, when we douse some information, we connect to the informational field which surrounds us. We are all connected, all humans are connected and uh, through our subconscious mind we can reach and get some information from people who are far away from us. So if somebody saw a real UFO and perhaps even had a, a mental or telepathic contact with them, we can receive this information and get a first-hand information about a specific incident or specific picture or video. If you enjoy watching this content, please give it a thumb up. I really appreciate it. Share with your friends who'd also benefit from watching it. Check out my website for dowsing charts I use and recommend. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.